everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 14 staple back canvas. I've put down just a real light layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I'm using up some of my paints that I had in bottles. There's all different colors. And I've uh, layered them in three of these little silicone um, cups that I just purchased. And I also filled up a little shovel here with paint. So I'm just going to lay the paints down and play with them a little bit and see what we come up with today. No, no plan. Um, I do know the pouring medium, pouring medium is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, no silicone has been added today. So let's get started. Like I said, I'm just going to... Um, Play with the paints a little bit here today. Just make an abstract painting. See what I come up with. And I will just pour these on. Make a little ring pour here and there. It was just fun using up some of my old paints. That's a very pretty color coming out there. Try and tip that a little bit so, so much doesn't flow off. And my last little cup here. Okay. And I think I will torch before I tip it. And 
even though I, I am pretty sure I have enough paint on here, I'm just going to add a little white here and there to help the paint along. Corners. Okay. Let's do a little tipping. It's very colorful right colorful right now. Get over the corner and bring it back. I'm tempted to run my skewer through some of these rings here. Let's see what I think about it as I do it. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'll finish tipping. You can let me know in the comments if you if you like that or you you think I should have just left it. I'm always, I always like to read all the comments and suggestions and feedback. Try and get this corner down here. And then bring it back. To the middle. And I'm gonna get take some off down at this corner, I think. And bring that back. And take a look at it here. Okay, the only cor I'm really not happy with this corner. It turned out like it's a little bit muddy. So what I'm going to do is scrape that off. Just don't like it. Everything else so far I like pretty well. There may could be a little bit more in this blue section here too. So I think I'm going to just fill another cup up here.
with some colors. See if it can just add a little something to that area. Let's see what we have here now. I think I'll add some in here too. And then we'll do a little more tipping. Okay. Okay, and bring that back. Take a look. Tip it a little this way. Okay, I'm going to just use my skewer again here a little bit to see what I can do with this here. I don't really like this in here. Help that out just a little bit. Just certain areas I'm working with here. And I, I love this area right here. Those colors are beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to check my corners and my edges here. Let's see if I can just tip it a little bit here.
Okay. Take another look at it here before I torch it. I think what I'm going to do is just pull it down here just a little bit. Might even take that corner off a little bit. A little bit more than that and stretch that out over there. Okay. That's better. I like that better. Okay, now I'll give it a torch. Okay, I'll take another look at it here. That's a little better. And I'll clean off the bottom. And then we'll get you down for a close-up. And you can let me know what you think. Again, this is a 14 by 14 staple back canvas. And I call this a multi-ring pour. And I did use a little shovel also, a little shovel pour. So let's get you down. Tell me what you think. <clears throat> okay, we have the upper left hand corner. And I, and I think it's really pretty in there with the red and the blue. Stripes are so nice here. Very pretty in here. Love that purple color. This is the lower, lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you across to the middle. Here's where the oranges and the turquoise showed up. Some little cells there. That's very pretty in there. I love those colors. And in there, almost look like a, like a faded look with that purple. Here we have the upper right-hand corner. 
And this is just spectacular in here. The colors are just beautiful. That's probably my favorite part of the whole painting is right there. And here comes the vibrant orange with some pink in there and white. And we're coming upon the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you uh, like this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody and thank you for watching. Bye.